is a very quick, very basic setup of a contraption I saw on YouTube. You can tell the magnet poles are opposite, opposite, because the poles of one star are going between the poles of the other. If I try and line these up, they repel. Now, they're repelling each other, but if I pushed a bar in between them, in theory they should attract the bar on one side, and by pulling together on one side, like so, and attracting and attract and repelling each other. I need to pull this out again, it's flopping around. The bar itself's a bit loose. Um by repelling each other but by being attracted to the bar if they're being attracted on this side and repelled on that side they should spin the idea is is that they spin without any input of energy whatsoever and i patented the idea and make myself incredibly rich unfortunately that's where the fairy tale ends because the bar has some difference you can see them move slightly i push it in but then they find an equilibrium. Now, trying to figure out the magnetic force lines is what's going on, and unfortunately beyond my imagination. But, uh, you know, the pair of low friction bearings, it's all very wonky, it's, it's, it's really a very quick knock up. Um, With a pair of low friction bearings, you know, if anything's going to turn, that should, but it doesn't. And even as I'm sat here filming, I'm trying to figure out where the flux lines are going. It's almost as if there's a load of springs between each one pushing them apart. And even though I've just pushed, distorted the springs by pushing the bar in, you know, magnetic springs, magnetic fields, it's uh, found an equilibrium. And uh, I can't figure out in my head how that is. I take another magnet. Can you? Oh, I've, got, I've got two colours of Geomag set here. It's a combination, a very knock up combination of Geomag and Fisher Technic. The Geomag's the coloured magnet, and the Fisher Technic's the grey stuff. Um, yeah, that, that's an opposite pole, it's repelling repelling the poles of the star but if I turn it round it does actually attract it so again oops, you put the magnet between it should attract on this side and repel on that side and the two stars should spin furiously until they fly apart with an un unimaginable force but they don't they just kind of sit there so uh Perpetual motion machine spectacular fail. Now I know according to the various principles of physics, was it Newton's famous spoil sport law that says you can't get something for nothing? Well this machine shows no no uh, the wish to defy that law. The problem is I cannot figure out what's going on. I can't picture in my head what's happening with the magnetic flux lines. And uh, that's an office that's obviously a track uh, the, uh, the red and the blue color is not significant it's just I've got two different colors of magnets uh, these are getting a bit wonky and it's wondering what the gray stuff is it's called Fisher Technic great constructional system we have heaps of it um, good stuff. And there's more of it over there in those stacking boxes. Uh, there's more of it over there in those boxes. But uh, there's even some of it up in the window. And there's two solar panel stands made of it. But no, that's Fisher Technic. And the other stuff, when the exposure readjusts itself, is a, a Geomag set. Well, actually, two small Geomag sets. Uh, they just sort of 
silvery balls and magnets that clip together to make uh, various things. And uh, I know all those magnets are the same way around. Because what I did was uh, I had them like that. And I broke up a whole sausage of them, making sure that the same end went on the centre ball. And so if the ends inwards, I'll say the north ends of these blue magnets the red magnets will be the south end and the south end so the magnetic fields are going round that way so uh, if that's the south pole I don't know which that would be the north pole to the south pole the north pole south pole north pole so the flux lines would go round in a donut same for underneath and, uh, so you've got effectively two donut shaped sets of flux lines Propelling again, so wherever I, I wave this wand, it's definitely repelling, it's pushing the poles away. Now, wherever I wave, wave this wand, I'm disturbing that flux set of flux lines, and uh, I wave that around. That's the attracting end. It's funny, it, 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 it does have some effect, but it finds an equilibrium, it doesn't spin. So, Newton's law, which is, <coughs> oh, can't remember which one it was now, not the third law, is it? Um, it's opposite action and reaction and blah, blah, blah. Can't remember which law it is, it's opposite energy can't be created or destroyed. Um, then, yeah, it, it's clearly there's obviously magnetic fields or lines around there because I wave this wand about, it is interfering with them, but uh, no motion. Um, I'll be filming for seven minutes. God, I've rattled on, haven't I? Now, yeah, it's a great advert for Fisher Technic um, and Geomag. I mean, there's more Fisher Technic. That thing there is an electronic controller. It's, again, it's Fisher Technic. You can program it on your computer that makes things move. Very intelligent piece of kit. But uh, unfortunately, it can't run without energy, which is what we've been trying to do here. And uh, does seem to be magnetic flux lines do seem to have a way of compensating for what you're trying to do and the in effect thwarting world domination um, I'm magnetizing that bow and I'm putting the other thing on the end of it and again it's obviously having an effect but it's not causing it to spin these are quite weak magnets the uh, a French belt machine I saw on the internet had much more powerful magnets, but uh, they also geared together. These aren't geared because I can't be bothered to rig up cogwheels. Um, I may, if I get the enthusiasm, build a more powerful machine with button mode with uh, neo mags and on discs on cogs like the French invention, but. Given that I actually don't think it's going to work, I hardly see the point. I mean, I fiddle around with this, I've moved these about, you know, all sorts of configurations. And I know it's not supposed to work, what I can't figure out is why it doesn't work. I can't get my head around the various goings on. The magnetic flux lines will be effectively going around in a donut shape because of the way I've got these arranged. Um, out and in, back in the middle, or vice versa, depending which way around they are, I don't know. Um, all I do know is that it's opposite, opposite. The poles on each one is trying to go in between the poles of the other, they're, so they're, they're obviously repelling each other. Um, so I know, I know for sure that they're opposite, opposite poles, but uh, my camera's going to time out very soon. It's going to be prattling on for so long. There's my Fisher technique there. It's a wind turbine model with the blades taken off for uh, portability and so yeah so great advert for Fisher Technic and Geomag but unfortunately uh, my engine my self-propelled perpetual motion make me incredibly rich and put the oil companies out of business engine is uh, not working damn I'll just have to go back to uh, burning oil and coal and gas like everyone else what a pity Anyway, it's a bit of fun.